Morning all, Rona, day 43, and a beautiful morning it is, Mother's Day, round the corner. Anyway, beautiful morning, sun is rising, swell's dropped off a bit, and a uh, few surfers, fishing's been good, got seven whiting just out there, directly in front of that person working on the beach, has a great little gutter, and uh, some good fishing to be had in that little spot there, so uh, with that full moon around, get out and have a go. A couple of boaties out on the horizon there. So they're still doing their little thing fishing. Um, look, just good day for walking. Take the walk on the dog. Uh, nice view there. The morning sunrise. Well, hi guys, uh, look, if there's any of you creative type out there that'd like to have a fiddle around, this is a pretty cool drawing app. It's called Lucida, Lucida, and it's a style of, or a type of uh, tracing or drawing that you can get everything in perspective to whatever shape you like. It makes it fairly simple. It's a pretty clever app. In the old days, they had certain light boxes to do this, but now you can do it on, on just an iPad. So what you do is you download the program, and so you take a photo, or you get a photo. So I acquired this photo of some lilies uh, for Mother's Day, because I'm getting my wife some lilies there for Mother's Day. And I thought I'd just uh, I'd draw her a card. So you start off with an image that you get like that, and then you place the paper underneath, like so. And you can support the iPad um, a certain distance. So I just grabbed a bit of old... Um, Copper water pipe, typed, uh, bolted that down there and on there, and just screwed that top on, and that gives you different heights. The higher you go, the bigger the um, the uh, ex expands out, and the lower you go, and therefore I've got some different length pipes to make it higher or lower to get a bigger scale, basically. So what you do is you you bring the photo up, and then it's really clever. I just got a pencil initially, so you have this this bit here which it does there's the full photo in all color so I'll draw the outline and then I'll get some coloring pencil or some um, pastels and paint paint in in the rest but if you bring it out of that it comes all the way down and there's the paper underneath see there's my hand under here as you can see then as I bring in the opacity up you can see my hand but you can see the image on top so you get the image to the level that you can see what you're drawing so I brought it down to about here. Now, as I place my hand down here, you see my hand up the top, you see that? So it's a really cool app and a good way, look, I'm no great artist. It's been, you know, it's been 30 years to learn how to draw to scale without gritting the whole thing up. Basically, I just want the, art, the, the outline so I can then, you know, have fun with the coloring and, and uh, jazz it up the way I want. So you start here like this. I'm trying to film and draw at the same time, so bear with me. But you just, and then you're basically just tracing the line here. So I'm just following this line around. And so that's actually filming through the image onto my hand down below, you see. So it makes it easy. It makes it fun because you actually get a good result. So, you know, you go and try and do something you don't like and it looks crap and then you... You get disheartening, oh, I can't do it, I'm not an artist. Well, anyone's an artist. Artist is just about having fun and doing it. If you're doing it, you're doing art, you're an artist. That's as far as I'm concerned. And you want a nice product, so this way you can do it. It takes a bit of time, you've got to have a bit of patience. i tell you what, we've got a fair bit of that at the moment, especially down isolation. So you sort of get the idea. So what you do is you just keep following, just drawing the outline. And you can do it rough with pencil. You can do be pretty quick about it too if you want. And then you come down here and you get some pens of a certain size. And then what you can do is you can just actually go and fill in the lines. So I just, and you can be a bit more accurate with the shape. And as you go around like that, then you just get a rubber and you erase the leftover lines. So you get an eraser and you erase that out and uh, that leaves your outline and then you can uh, print it up. So 
I'll continue on and I'll get back to you. Sorry about that bad filming before. You couldn't see it in my hand, but <clears throat> basically here with the pencil, I'm actually looking at my iPad and my hands underneath. So I'm actually not looking at that piece of paper. It's only when I then come with the, uh, the texter and the dark pen, the line pen now, and I just, just look and just draw straight over the, uh, over the drawing and the diagram. So it doesn't take too long, I'd say 40 minutes, an hour or so, and so got it all done. I grab a rubber and just gently rub over the drawing. And you're left with a nice, accurate outline of the lilies. Now, reading a book, I know it's meant to be good, but, oh man, just, I always get so frustrated. While doing something like this, I can do it for hours, because you can, you're actually doing something, and I just feel like something productive is like, happening. And it's just fun to, it doesn't take much brain power, but it's quite relaxing, and fills that creative feel. So there's the basic image now, and now I just got to pick some colours and decide how to colour it, and job done. And that's the finished product, just some basic colouring in pencils, just a few different colours. And uh, there you go, looks okay, doesn't cost a cent. And you can get out and then just put a few uh, lovey-dovey words in the middle and everybody's happy. Have a go, it's good fun. Well, it is Mother's Day and I can't find June amongst all the flowers. Here's the little bunch that she got today. And there is another bunch she got, which is absolutely stunning. These uh, orchids here, I mean, look at that. How beautiful are those pinks? Anyway, that's her other big bunch she got. Uh, there's a dog fast asleep. And then... Don't forget your bottle again, yeah, leave it there. Here's another big bunch June got, which is really nice. And here's June over here. There's another bunch. Hey, June. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Jeff, how are you? Good. You had a nice swim? I did. Yeah, you want my story? Yeah, give us a story. <sighs> a lady went to visit her husband in jail. And uh, when she was leaving, she said to the fella up the front, I can't remember what he's called, but she said to him, you're working my husband too hard. He's, he's, he's very tired, he's very tired. And the chap in charge there said, um, I can't understand that man because he said all he does is have his breakfast and sleep in his jail cell all day, doesn't do anything else. And she said, well, he's absolutely exhausted and he said he's been digging a tunnel for two weeks. <laughs> I like that. Any uh, wishes for Mother's Day for everyone? Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Hope you have as good a day as I'm having. Thank you mm. very much. Be kind to your mums. Yes. And here's another bunch you got. So June has just been flooded with flowers, which she loves flowers, both her and June are flower heads. They're giants. So there, it's all good. Anyway, here we are with a massive board game going. This is called Catan, and we've got the, Joe got the extra add-on back. Rory is doing pretty well at the moment. He's got a couple of cards. We're discovering uh, fish shoals and pirating stuff, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. A little bit technical to start, but once you get the hang of it, it's good fun. Get it if you want and enjoy board games. Hi, Jane. Hi. And that's Hi, my mum. Hi, Leslie. Hi. 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 Happy Mother's Day. Hi. Thank you. Uh, what do we got? Yes. I cooked them up. Uh, what do you got? Oysters, prawns. And one's banana, that's all we have. So, there Somehow I got through the stage, it took me a while. Anyway, here we are, the next challenge. What do I do here? Uh, next mission X. Check it out. Life with Atlas was nothing like the Marines, but I wasn't complaining. Hanging in the balance. Atlas forces moved in swiftly to rescue the hostages. 
Now, the last time I played these computer games was sort of like Mario X-Man sort of stuff, or what is it, Pac-Man sort of stuff. So they've really come a long way. You have this video interface at the start where all these guys sort of come in do and set the scene of what the next mission is. And then uh, once they have their chat and sort of, sort of like a movie, you dive into it and then uh, you go along trying to uh, achieve all the things. Anyway, all you young guys know all about it, but uh, for us old folk, it's a bit of fun to keep the fingers going. And my son likes to laugh at how bad I play this game. Fucking bad ass.